feisty. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to bottle feed a baby lamb. So, um, lambs can be orphaned for a variety of reasons. Either the mother died giving birth or she, uh, rejected the baby or she had multiple babies and she didn't have enough milk. Um, this guy's excited for his milk. <laughs> um, or she didn't have enough milk to feed all of her babies. So you may find yourself in the situation where you actually need to bottle feed your lamb. Okay, so one of the first questions is how often should you be feeding? So um, basically up until the first month, you're gonna wanna be feeding every four hours. And so that includes during the middle of the night. So it is definitely, definitely a commitment. If your lamb has not received colostrum from the mother uh, within the first 24 or 48 hours, then you'll need to also supplement milk with that. After the first four weeks are over, then you can start feeding just three times a day. When I first got him, um, he was really, really sick and he couldn't actually stand. So um, ideally when you're bottle feeding, you have them standing. Um, but so I had to hold him uh, and actually syringe feed him um, because he just didn't have that suckle reflex. So sometimes it takes them a while to develop that. So when you feed, bottle feed, I recommend um, over an actual human bottle like this, um, I recommend getting these, uh, these nipples that you can get at um, like Tractor Supply. They have the yellow and red. Um, they seem to, of my own experience, they seem to take really well to these. And what's great is that you can actually just screw them onto any regular soda bottle. Um, and uh, they're super easy to use. What I do with him is um, I'll turn him this way. <laughs> Here you go. And so, so when he, cause they tend to back up. So that way he just kind of backs up into me and he can't really go anywhere. Um, and it's just sort of easy to do. Um, now, if you have to syringe feed because they can't suckle yet, um, he actually took a while to develop his uh, suckle response. So one thing that you can do is just kind of rub your hands down their neck just to, um, and also you wanna really make sure that they're actually swallowing. Um, that's what you're gonna wanna look for. But so you can, you can do this. Um, you can also, uh, when you're first, <laughs> see now he's all rowdy. When he was younger, I'd have to do this for him. I'd actually have to like um, make a, uh, like a circle you and sort of pry his mouth open and then stick the nipple in. Um, and you can also kind of like rub their tongue too um, to try to stimulate the suckle response. But, um, <laughs> you're feisty, bud. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, so the most, the best thing is for them to be standing if possible while they're drinking and then also have the bottle tilted upright to prevent them from swallowing in air bubbles. So the other big question is how much to feed. So you're gonna obviously increase their intake as they get older, but as a general rule, sheep should be fed 20% of their body weight. So for the first two weeks, um, you're gonna wanna feed every four hours uh, 200 milliliters, and then at weeks three and four, you can up that to 500 milliliters, and then um, weeks five and six, you can increase to 700 milliliters. And then after that, you're gonna wanna start gradually weaning them off. Nice job, bud. Look at you go. Look at that milk mustache. Oh my goodness, buddy. Milk is so fun. Yum. Yeah. And then he's indoors for now, so. One thing you can do if you have a lamb that's gotta stay indoors uh, for whatever reason, if he's injured or just needs extra monitoring or if it's too cold outside for them, um, you can go to Tractor Supply and buy pine pellets. Um, and the smell of pine pellets actually induces urination. So um, he's taken really well to it. Um, I think I might have myself a, a litter box trained sheep. Um, so yeah, so he usually smells that and uh, and it, it doesn't take him actually too long to then start going. Um, see, and he poops in there too, so he's pooping now. Good job. Look at you, litter box train lammy. <laughs> You're doing so good. What a good lamb. What a good lamb. Yeah. Okay, so the main key pieces of information for you guys are to bottle feed every four hours uh, up until they're about a month old. That includes during the evening and 
for the first two weeks. Uh, feed about 200 milliliters per feeding and then you can always move up from there. Always have water out available for them and then after they're two weeks old, you can start offering them orchard grass and hay, see if they'll take at it. They may lip nibble on it a little bit, but at least you can put it out there and start offering it to them. But this guy has done amazing. We've only had him for a week. He is now three weeks old and when we rescued him, he could not even stand up for more than a couple seconds on his own and he obviously couldn't stand long enough to nurse from mom. So he was very emaciated, very weak. He could barely hold his own neck up and now he is doing great and he's thriving. Look at you, Baba. You're so cute. You're just the cutest little lamby. Oh. <laughs> I'll let you go. Anyways, if you want to follow along on his progress, uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Living with Pickles. We have a whole plethora of animals and we are always rescuing more. Um, but feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And we send you lots of love and we'll see you next time.